And these are the directions, instructions that come with the Freedom 2 PMG. The small page here is for, I don't know if you can see that or not. This is for hooking up the rectifier. And this is for hooking up the wind vane and generator. To start the assembly, I have a tripod with an inch and a half pipe on it. And I set this on there just so that it's just below the pipe for now. And this here this is a quarter inch Allen wrench. And I'm just going to tighten it up enough to make sure that it doesn't move, doesn't go anywhere while I assemble it. Now, I'm not going to be using any grease on it right now because this is just a temporary assembly. I'm going to assemble it and store it in a dry location in the garage until I'm ready to mount it on a pole house side. These are some of the bolts. There's 10 bolts and nylon locking nuts. There's a clamp for clamping the wires. There's the top clamp and a washer for the top to keep it from coming off. Four long bolts with locking nuts. These are not nylon locking nuts. You have that little mark in the side there that indicates they're a locking nut and then those are the instructions that came with it and a quarter inch allen wrench did not come with it that is my quarter inch allen wrench so once you uh, have the bracket on here i put one bolt through the top to hold it in place they don't have the other bolts in yet, but that'll hold it while I put the bottom two in. And I'll do the same thing to the other side. And just kind of snug them up a little bit, leaving them loose enough so you can put that top bracket on here. There'll be a top bracket there. So once you have the bottom four in and it's still loose, you can wiggle them around. You don't want them too tight. You still have to put that top piece in here. You can take out these two bolts and put in the top part that holds the wire. Okay, now with all the bolts in, they're still loose. They're just finger tight. Still lots of room. You want to leave it loose so that you can put this back and line it up. So that'll be the next part. Okay, I've put two bolts in, and you make sure you get the stars and stripes at the top. Unless you want them on the bottom, I guess. But they go on the top, and you see it's not bolted together yet. But put the two bolts in there, and it'll hold it up for you. And then you can push it together and start a nut on it, and that's all it'll take. Slide the back nut on first and get it started and then it'll be much easier to align the front one as you pinch it together. So now that all the bolts are in, you have two on the back and then you've got eight of them up here. Four and four. Go ahead and tighten them all down. So now that they're all tightened up it is time for the PMG to be mounted.
So I slid the bolts, four of them, two on top, there's two on the bottom, slid all four of them through there and started the locking nuts on the end. And it's just being held on like that for now and I will tighten them down. The PMG is now tightened down. All four of those locking nuts are on there. And uh, I placed the wires on the bottom, not the top. Reason being that there's a, there's a hole there in the bottom. And wires are in the bottom so that the uh, water can drain out of the hole that's there. I'll get you a view of it. That there hole will allow the water to come out. Even though the wires are sealed and wrapped really well. So there shouldn't be any shorting. Should be just fine. Right now you can see the spacers on there. So next is the hub. Put the hub on, tighten it down. The nut is a 15 16th. I'm using a wrench on that, and the Allen wrench is a 5 16th. So you just tighten her down. Make sure you got your spacer there. That there locking washer is a thin washer. So be careful not to over tighten it and smoosh it out. The other bolts on here, these long bolts here were a 9 16 the bolt and the nut. And the other ones on this side, this here was a 7 16 nut and the bolt was also 7 16 all 10 of those were 7 sixteenths. Now that it's all tightened down, it turns real easy. Next, the blades. The blades have two bolts, and the word Raptor should be facing out. They have self locking nuts. And they are to be torqued at five foot pounds. Don't over torque them or you could crack them. So I will go ahead and put the rest of them on there and get the torque wrench. The bolts fit tight, well, not too tight, they're snug. And you can start them with your finger and then run them in up to that far with a wrench. Actually, the top one you can run all the way up in there with a the wrench. So once you have one in, one out like that, there, you just put that right in there. And then the other one, you can go ahead and get your wrench and run it through and it'll come out the other side. And then you can put the nuts on. So there's the torque wrench for torquing them down to five foot pounds. And I'm doing them one at a time. Putting it in there and then torquing it down. All right, they're all on. They're all torqued down. Give it a spin. Turns real easy. product pretty close finished I still got to put the uh, little part there on top for holding the wires there's the hole I'll get it put it on show you what it looks like okay the clamp for holding the cables in right here that they shipped it's not going to do a very good job the hole is way bigger than what the clamp is 
so the nut won't tighten up it just nut pulls right on through there's the nut right there so I'm going to have to find another clamp for cables that has a that'll fit this bigger hole that they have in here and when I do that I will let you know so I've dropped it down about an inch so that I could get the nylon washer in there and the clamp now, I didn't tighten it down because I will be taking this back off and mounting it on the pole that goes on the tower once we get the tower set. But for now, there it is, it's all put together. And uh, for the most part, I'm pretty happy with it. Galvanizing could have been better, but all the holes lined up perfect. There's no problem with any of the holes. Uh, all the bolts were there, uh, nothing was missing. The uh, whole unit went together really nice, so nice and easy. So if you have any questions, just uh, leave one down there below, and I will see if I can answer it for you. Hope you enjoyed this video.